from the outside perspective, it's just an individual on the line running. The only way that you can do it is if you do it as a team. Sometimes track and field looks like an individual sport. Sometimes it is. But not this year, and not for the women of Oregon who proved that teamwork pays. Jasmine Todd and Jenna Prandini say this talented group of women broke down barriers and banded together as a unified team by building strong bonds. So our like family atmosphere and support really helps our, our performances. The women had a motto this year. Champions do extra. Champions do extra. That meant putting in the effort to go the extra mile. That meant taking care of themselves and that meant taking care of their teammates. My teammates, we, we do a really good job of kind of picking each other up, so if one person has a bad day or um, is down, we kind of rally that, that girl up. Because even the most talented people can have bad days and need support. So I tell a lot of the team, like, take 30 minutes to yourself, cope, do what you have to do, cry, be angry, sad, whatever it is, and then throw it back behind you. Just forget about it and go out there and cheer your team on. Even with an occasional off day, these Oregon women are aware that they are competing at the highest level in the nation. We have a higher standard here because um, <laughs> um, it's Oregon and it's Tracktown USA and people, the fans expect a lot out of us and they want us to perform at a high, high level and compete with the best in the world. Representing a program that has a tradition of fielding elite teams at a field that has a well-established tradition of excellence that inspires awe and reverence at the mention of its name, Historic Hayward Field. For 30 years, the NCAA Track and Field Championship eluded the Oregon women. Track coach Robert Johnson says they all learn from each experience of getting close, but not quite there. Whenever you get to a point to where you're about to break through. Um, it takes a while, like we've been second at this meet for a long time. Um, 2010, 2011, 2012, we were like second, 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 second. For the team and for the fans, second place just didn't cut it. The fans even, for the past couple years, we've been getting second and third, but they want first place. This women's team handled the pressure, satisfying the fans and themselves. This is no longer just a male-dominant sport, it's that you shouldn't just look at the men. There's a women's team out there too that's working just as hard. The girls have really put a stamp on Oregon track and field. Us winning outdoors just solidifies how dominant we are. Women's track and field is just as important as men's track and field. The future is looking bright for this young team. No one is leaving, and with increased team maturity, season with new talent coming in next year, the track ahead looks good.